<clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadash, Yahweh being the name of Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, Ba'in, Ha'da, Shem, name. Yahweh Shai being named only begotten son, meaning he deliver, he saves. Rechakwadash, Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great most, and the well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. Back at it with another to the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Lord willing, this video was edifying. Okay? Our hope is in the Lord. Our hope is in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That is our end, our be all. That is where we are to put our trust. That is where all the eggs of our basket are put in, so to speak, man. Okay? You know, we don't have... When you come into this truth, you're not supposed to have a backup plan as far as, you know, if your trust in the Lord fails, you're going to do this, that, and the third. No. Okay? The backup plan is to make plan A work, man. You know? Your plan B is to make plan A work, man. And ultimately, plan A, B, C, D, you know, all the way through Z. Okay, it's trusting in Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is the one who rules in the kingdom of men. Let's start with that, Lord willing. You know, and there's many examples of that. Daniel 4, starting at verse 17, it says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. All right, and I bring that out to say that Yahweh Bashem El Shai, he rules in the kingdom of men. Yahweh Bashem El Shai is, is in control of the planet Earth and everything in existence, man. You see, nothing goes down on the Earth without Yahweh Bashem El Shai's authority or his say-so. Let's get the precept on that. Not even a bird can fall out the sky unless the Lord sanctions it, man. Okay, um, this is Matthew 10, and starting at verse um, 29, it says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? Okay, so a farthing at that time was like a, a, a Roman penny, <clears throat> you know, which which I believe was like a certain percentage of a Roman penny. So it was, it was, um, it was cheap, pretty much. Two sparrows. Two sparrows are cheap, you know. So the Lord said that what? Not even a sparrow, which is a, which was back then was sold for a cheap price. Not even a sparrow can fall on the ground unless the Heavenly Father sanctions it so. Verse 30, it says, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. See, so Yahweh Bashmashah Masha has the number of the hairs in our head, man. I'm going to show you what? That he takes account. Of the things that might be overlooked, man. Okay? And it says, verse 31, or verse 30, uh, yeah, 31. It says, Fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows, man. So, yeah, I was trying to say, We're of more value than many sparrows. You know? We could have a thousand sparrows, and the Lord says, We're of more value, man. Okay? So, knowing that, you know, that should make you have trust in the fact that Yahweh Bashman Shai has your best interest at heart. That should give you confidence to hope in the Lord, man. Because whatever happens unto us, guess what? Yahweh Bashman Al Shai sanctioned it so. What did Yahweh Shai say to Pontius Pilate? When Pontius Pilate said he had power to crucify Yahweh Shai or to release him. Let's get it real quick. Go to the book of John. John 19, starting at verse 10. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have and have power to release thee? Verse 11, Yahweh shall I answer, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee have the greater sin, okay? And the ones who have the greater sin or delivered Yahweh Shah into Pontius Pilate were the Jews, the circumcision at that time, okay? That's why it's going to say the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond, okay? Which iron is one of the hardest metals 
and diamond is one of the hardest stones okay you know so jake's sin is, is, is very hard heavy and grievous man okay in particular speaking about the southern kingdom you know the southern kingdom like it says how judah uh was more treacherous than 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 israel man you know talking about the northern kingdom okay and then the, you see why because they crucified yahweh shai man okay how much more wicked can you get to crucify the messiah man you know but nonetheless okay you know at the end of the day the point being what uh the scriptures say thou could have no power over me at all unless it was given to you from 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 above man so yahweh shai understood that his hope his trust is in the most high yahweh man he understood that look nothing could happen unto him unless the heavenly father made it so man that's why when he was on that's why when he was in the garden of the gethsemane okay and he was praying to the lord what he say if it be possible pass this cup from me okay he knew that that was coming he knew that he had to go on the cross because the most high ordained it so so you got to understand that what our hope is in yahweh our trust is in yahweh man we don't hope upon anything else because everything else is vanity okay in vain and can't and it can't deliver you know there's no other savior besides yahweh Shai, man okay so he is our plan a through z man you know our hope is in the lord and he could and he rules in the kingdom of men all things obey his will like it says in the book of sirach the 18th chapter let's get it real quick so if somebody is coming at you a certain way or if somebody's coming at you peaceably it's of the lord sirach ecclesiastes 18 starting at verse 3 Actually, let me start at verse 1. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. It says, the Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he. Yeah, the Lord only is righteous, man. That's why Yahweh just said, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is the most high, man. Okay? It says, who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Right. All things obey the will of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, man. And there's nothing you can do to, to go against that. It says, for he is king of all by his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. Yeah, through the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, things are, uh, the holiness and, and profane things are separated, man. Okay, okay, through the Lord's knowledge, like it says in Sirach, the 33rd chapter. See? But at the end of the day, you got to understand that the Most High, he's the one who rules in the kingdom of men. The Most High is in control. So, it's, it's vain to put your trust or hope in anything else, man. This is John 6 and uh, verse 66. Actually, we start at verse 65. John 6 and 65. And he said, Therefore I said unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. All right? So you can't you can't be a follower of Yahweh Shai unless the Most High ordained you so. Okay? And now it says... Um, Verse 66, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. You see, because you had a lot of people who were following Yahweh Shai at that time, but they also withdrew themselves from him. All right. And it says, uh, verse 67, then said Yahweh Shai to the 12, will ye also go away? <clears throat> you know, he was asking the 12 disciples if they were going to leave too, right? verse 6 and verse 68 then simon peter answered him lord to whom shall we go thou hast the words of eternal life and we believe and are sure that thou art that mashiach the son of the living power man so peter was like who are we gonna go to lord you know you got the words of eternal life where else are we gonna go man you know peter understood uh that that that, that spiritual monopoly man you know, where you couldn't go anywhere else for salvation, save Yahweh Bashmael Shai, man. And so we understand that now. The Lord has given us his Holy Spirit to understand that now. So guess what? That is who our hope is in. Our hope is in Yahweh Bashmael Shai and none else. You know, let's get another one. The Psalms 39 and verse 7, Lord willing. Psalms 39 and 7, it says, And now, Lord, what wait I for? 
my hope is in thee okay yeah what 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 are we what, what else are we waiting for besides Yahweh Shai? that is who our hope is in man that is who we trust in that's that's whom all the eggs of our basket is in man the lord man okay we're not waiting upon anything else man or at least you shouldn't be you shouldn't have a backup plan outside of the lord man the lord should be your 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 plan a and your plan b you know you got dudes who come into that wicked spirit and say you know well if the lord don't come back in this time then you know i'm finna go and get this job you know what i'm saying you know they tell me i gotta shave my beard but you know at least i'll be making good money yeah until until that money runs out man i'm sorry until the until the economy collapses, the dollar crash then your money ain't gonna mean ain't gonna be nothing worth except for keeping your hands warm in the winter time and then what are you gonna do in that time man ain't no going back to the lord then because you fell out, man. You willfully went off, man. You willfully sinned, like it says in Hebrews 10. Why? Because you denounced the Lord, man. Okay? You gave up the faith. What you going to do with then, man? That's why I was going to say, woe unto you who have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you, man? It's Rock 2 and 14. Okay? It's, this is uh, Psalms 123, starting at verse 1, a song of degrees unto thee. Lift up mine eyes, O that dwellest in the heavens. Yeah, we lift up our eyes unto Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. That's whom we wait upon, man. Verse 2, Behold, as the eyes of servants look upon, look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our power until that he have mercy upon us, man. Okay? That's it. So, just like how you know you wait upon your boss at work to to tell for him to tell you what to do and to him to direct your steps at work you know and and, and pretty much give you a charge all right and, and and give you your reward too for your labor same way we look upon yahweh basham el shai man okay but we don't just look upon yahweh basham el shai as a master a servant but also a father his sons man you know that's who our complete hope is in man the heavenly father see let's get another one psalms 33 and uh verse 18 it says "Ooh, let me start at verse 16 psalms 33 and 16 it says there is no king saved by a multitude of an host a mighty man is not delivered by much strength and horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength, man. Yeah, so you, just because you have a multitude of hosts, just because you have a big host, man, you know, doesn't mean that that's going to save you. Okay, just because you got a, a, a horse or in the modern day times, you know, you got a fast car or you have a vehicle or whatever, you know, to make you flee from something. That is not what's going to save you, man. Okay. You know, and it says just because you might be strong or you know how to fight or you got, you know, weapons and stuff like that. That doesn't mean that's going to deliver you, man. OK, it says verse 18, it says, behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, man, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. OK, right. That's who our eyes are upon. That's who we hope in, man. Yahweh Bashmel Shai. To keep us alive during these uh, evil times, man. To keep us, you know, uh, 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 to keep us fed during the times of famine, man. Verse 20, our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Yeah, the Lord is our help and our shield, man. Okay? Not anything else. If anything, if anything helped you or delivered you from a circumstance, that's because the Lord allowed it to, man. No ifs, ands, or buts. Verse 21. For our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee, man. Yeah. See, and that's what we're waiting upon, man. The hope and the mercy of Yahweh Basham Al Shai, man. Okay. Let's get this uh let's get this precept. This is Psalms 130, verse 5. It says, Psalms 130, verse 5. It says, I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. <laughs> God, man. You know, we constantly on our watch for Yahweh Shai, you know, waiting upon the day 
of Yahweh Bashmel Shai, man. All right. It says, I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities, man. And that's what we hope upon, man. Okay? And that's and that's really what it, and that's really what matters, being redeemed from your iniquities, receiving the mercy of the Lord. Because you can have all the money in the world, but if you have iniquity found within your spirit, okay, and transgressions that have, that are not covered, guess what? You're still gonna get judged, man. That's why we hope upon Yahweh Shemeshah. We look upon the Lord and not anything else, man. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemeshah, 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 Yahweh Sheme